Uh, coach, so obviously a little bit of bad blood between the two teams. Uh, the last, this is the last time in the regular season you face each other. But uh, just talk about if you guys were to meet up again in the playoffs, how much of a, a great series that might be. Well, you know what? I think you got two uh, teams here, both passionate teams and, and two good teams. And um, it's this is the type of year you have to, time of year you have to play the game with emotion. I mean, you have to be fired up and ready to compete. And um, you know, the, today the score gets a little lopsided. Although the game wasn't lopsided, the score got a little lopsided. And, um, you know, I was pretty proud of our team for sticking together and, and, and answering the bell when the physical play started. We stuck together as a team and we tried to stay disciplined and keep our uh, focus on the two points, which we were able to get tonight. Season high in attendance tonight. How big was it to get that win home in front of a big crowd? Well, we love it. I mean, we love playing at home. We love playing at home in front of big crowds. I know it gets our guys excited, and I think it reflects in our record at home. I mean, we're, we're a good team in this building, and they have a lot, of, a lot to do with that. Uh, going off of what Brandon said, you know, there's only nine games left in the regular season. Uh, four teams in the Central kind of bunched up in that race. How important is it to you to get home, home ice advantage? Well, that's what we're working for. That's what we're working for. I mean, we're, we're going to fight right to the end for it because we love playing in this building. I mean, you, we're, we're, we're a little bit of a different group. I hate to say we're a bunch of homers, but we're, we're a bit of a different group when we play here. I, I mean, we've said it from day one, our guys are excited to be in Cleveland. They're excited to play here in front of a great fan base in a great building. And um, if, we could, if there's any way at all that we can get home ice and fight for that, we're going to try and do that because it's so important to us. And a big road trip coming up. Uh, what do you tell the guys just to keep this momentum going from the two great games you've had the last two nights? This is going to be a tough one tomorrow. This, this is a really good team we're playing. They're, they're on a bit of a roll, and they're sitting at home waiting for us. And we're, we're getting ready to play our third and three, and, and they're, they haven't played yesterday or today. So, um, you know, we're going to have to find a way to get emotionally charged up for that and, and more importantly, finding legs. So our, the, the key to tomorrow is going to be limiting our mistakes and make sure we're disciplined. We're going to do whatever we can to get fresh bodies in, um, you know, hopefully get some guys to help carry us. We just need to keep needing different guys to step up. You know, for, uh, last night it was Milano, tonight it's Sedlak's line. Um, we're going to need those contributions from, from, you know, everyone contributing their own little way. All right, a lot thanks. of different guys scoring over these last couple games. What does it mean to be able to have so many different offensive weapons, especially going into a tough place like Grand Rapids? Yeah, it's it's good to see some guys hitting their stride here a little bit. You know, I think uh, Lucas Sedlak gets rewarded here uh, tonight with a couple of goals. I mean, he, he he's known more as a defensive guy, but he's he's usually generating scoring chances. And now to see some finally go in the net for him is great. Hannah Kane has kind of been snake bit a little bit too. He, he scores a big goal for us last night. Sonny gets on the board with two. Um, you know, that's what you need this time of year to win hockey games. you got to find a way to put some pucks in the net. And, um, you know, I don't think we're generating any more chances than we have, you know, all year long. But now these guys are just you know, finding a way to get the job done, capitalizing on the chances that we do get. And, and again, that's what you need this time of the year to win, especially the playoffs. It also doesn't seem to matter who's in goal. It seems like everyone always tends to come out and play really well. Is there anything to the success of that and just being able to put anyone in goal on any given night? Well, I, I think there's, there's two parts of that. Number one is... We have three quality goaltenders. I mean, it's, it's not one, it's not two, it's, it's three guys that we know can win in this league and win consistently, and, and, and they've, been, they've been good for us. Um, the second part of it is the way our team plays in front of them. I mean, we've had our nights all year like any team does where you've given up way too many chances and way too many grade A chances, but um, for the most part, we've kept our numbers with the chances against low <laughs> or acceptable. On, on, you always want them to be lower, but but they've been good, and, and that's our commitment to, to play our team game. That, our team game is our defensive structure that, that allows us to get pucks back and spend as little time as possible in our zone. If we have a breakdown, we need our goalie to make a save. We got to, he needs to know where this where the, the shot's coming from, where a breakdown may happen, and and our team's all clear on that. So we're committed to doing that, and I think that helps those guys out as well. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach.